In the depths of the ocean off the coast of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, lies a haunting testament to what happens when good people make terrible decisions. It all started as a grand vision to recycle discarded tires and create an artificial reef to lure new marine life. But after dumping over two million tires into the ocean, the artificial reef would soon devolve into an ecological nightmare. As early as the 1960s, artificial reefs were gaining popularity worldwide. With no way to recycle rubber, many countries started experimenting and dumped vast amounts of tires into the ocean to create reefs. The concept of the Osborne Tire Reef took shape in the 70s, emerging as a proposed solution to the mounting landfill waste crisis. Environmentalists and entrepreneurs came up with the idea, believing that it would serve as a sanctuary for marine organisms. Their vision was to create a habitat that would support the underwater ecosystem and lure divers and tourists into exploring its wonders. It was thought to be a win-win situation. The plan would lay the foundation for renewed coral growth and simultaneously address the tire waste issue. The intention behind the reef was noble, and the project garnered support from local authorities and environmental organizations. It even received government funding. A multitude of boat owners volunteered, and the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company lent a helping hand, providing essential equipment. In 1972, the first bundle was transported to the site. Concrete jacks were placed on the ocean floor within a 50-foot diameter circle to establish the reef's foundations. The tires were bundled together and secured with steel cables and chains, forming interconnected structures intended to mimic the complexity of natural coral reefs. The bundles were then dumped without a strategic